Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Just in case. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's sunny, sun, sunshiny, sunshiny. It's a sunshine day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning to all those that will get on. Good morning to those that will watch on the replay. Good afternoon or good evening whenever you decide to watch. If you decide to watch, my name is Tamara Rochelle. Um, I am a published author. I am a uh, child of God. I am an ex-homosexual. I am a... Uh, uh, I had an abortion at 15. I'm, I've been fatherless uh, pretty much all my life. And um, God, is, God is using me. In this hour, for His purpose, for His glory. Good morning, good morning, uh, Minister M. I seen you come in. God bless you this morning. I pray each and every one of you all uh, had a wonderful weekend. It's Monday morning. Um, I um, the title of this is "Let's Deal with It," and we're talking about Orlando. And um, I wanted to uh, start off. Sorry, because it, um, it's hot in here, so I'm trying. I'm kind of sweating. Um, I wanted to deal, kind of deal with uh, the stuff that I've. Uh, uh, indirectly see us uh, uh, have seen on the internet and you know people's posts and things of that nature about what took place in the Orlando nightclub post over the weekend with this mass shooting that took place God bless you too uh, sir uh, um, that this thing that took place over the weekend in Orlando at the club post it was a, a homosexual nightclub and um, I've indirectly seen uh, posts about uh, the Christian community um, I guess basically bashing and, and, you know, I haven't directly seen it because I've been limiting my time on social media, uh, for, 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 for that reason, because I don't want to, you know, see some of the foolishness that, 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 that takes place in this said. Well, with all of that said, I am an ex homosexual. I was in a homosexual relationship, uh, in, uh, back in, I think 97, 90, somewhere around 95, 97. I have been clean and sober for, um, 15 years, more than 15 years. I don't know. I'm not really good with dates. Um, so I just know I've been, I just know I've been delivered. Okay. Um, and so I, um, the one thing that, uh, that I want to convey on today is that if, 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 if you name, yes, praise, hallelujah. Um, uh, um, uh, if, if, if the first thing you decided to say when you heard about it saw it on the news about this mass shooting in this gay club was that they that's something that they deserved and you're you call yourself a christian um then i'm going to question your heart i'm going to question your salvation i'm going to question everything about the love of god on the inside of you because if 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 the first thing you didn't 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 if compassion didn't hit your heart for the souls because because regardless of what people believe or, or, or regardless of what people uh want to believe about god god is love yes we know that but god is also god also hates the sin and that's an Amos five and fifteen, where it says, uh, you know, you know, you hate what God hates, love what God loves. You have to, we have to be in a place where we hate what He hates, but we have to love what He loves as well. And He doesn't, He doesn't, He doesn't hate the person. He loves the person. He hates the sin. And and if if compassion didn't well up in your heart because these were souls, then something is wrong with your heart. You need to check your heart because there's some there's there's a part of your heart that ha that has waxed cold. There's a part of your heart that has that has uh that has that hasn't been given over completely to God. Yes, we have to be compassionate even though we don't condone what they do. I'm an ex-homosexual. I don't condone what I did. 
I don't condone what anybody else did, but I love the person because I know that that, that, that is, it is a process that you have to go through in order to get delivered. And this is a tool that we have to use to, uh, to, to minister and to get people delivered and not to bash people because of, because of the choice that they made. They made this choice and, um, and, and one person made his choice to decide to go in because of his fear, because of his, the hatred in his heart to go in and to shoot a bunch of people in the nightclub. Um, uh, let's, let's start, let's, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get the get the scripture. First Corinthians six, which is a very well known scripture. First Corinthians six and nine, six and nine. Uh, now ye know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. This scripture for first Corinthians six and nine, people want to, people want to always bash homosexuals and say, God is going to put you in hell. But what about when you lying? What about when you, when you decided you didn't want to go to work and you lied and told them you were sick? It's still alive, regardless of how you, you, it, I mean, it, it, it names everybody. It named everybody in the scripture. It said fornicators. What if somebody decided, what if Omar Mateen, that, that that's the shooter's name, decided he wanted to go into a homosexual, uh, I'm sorry, a heterosexual nightclub, uh, just a regular nightclub with a bunch of heterosexuals was there and decided to shoot up everybody? What if, what if, what if, the, why is the mindset that we are, that, that homosexuals are worse than, than fornicators? Why is the mindset that homosexuals are worse than murderers or worse than pedophiles or worse than drunkards or worse? Because the scripture say, and, and, and what the problem is, is people do not know the word of God. They want to single out one group of people and say that this is the way it's supposed to be. This is the way God wants it. How do you know what God wants when you don't read his word? How do you know what God wants when you don't, when you don't make a, a, a life in his word, you're, you are, your 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 uh, 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 salvation is questionable because you're doing stuff behind the scenes. Some people, some people want to bash and say bad things about, about homosexuals and, and say these things. Um, uh, and, and they have secret desires. What about your secret desires? What about the desires of your heart? What about the desires of your flesh? And we have to get to a point where, where the first response, we, we the, the first response as, as, as believers, as people who name the name of the Lord, the first response should be prayer. The first, because it says, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, you have to humble yourself. You have to humble that, that high mindedness that you have, uh, because you're not one of them. And, and that's not, and it's not just with homosexuals, it's with any, anybody who, who who is living a life of sin, living a perpetual a, li a life of perpetual sin? We have to be in a place where where our first response is prayer, our first response is compassion, because because regardless of everything that they do, how they look, how flamboyant they are, they are souls. And and if you are not if you are not upset that souls died and went to hell this weekend. There's something is wrong with the with the with the with the with the condition and the posture of your heart. And so and so I, I come to just admonish people today that 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 you know stop bashing them, pray for them, minister to them because you you don't it, it, unless most people don't know a person living a homosexual lifestyle unless they are very flamboyant unless they are very uh you know they're out of the closet and they just you just know it. But most people you have people that are undercover. You have people in your family that you don't even know sleeping with. There's a female sleeping with another. For you, there's people everywhere. You go to work with people every day that you wouldn't even know that that are dealing with uh, uh, the home that are living a homosexual lifestyle because some people choose not to tell it. Some people choose not to say anything about what they do. Some people just keep it behind closed doors. But you have those that have made it public, and that's what they do. And then yet, Christians they bash. They bash and they want to and they want to say that this is the only sin that God is judging. No, God is judging idolaters. He's judging when you're when you're idolizing people, when you have another God above him. He's judging. He's judging you when you're when you when you're chasing after money. He's judging. He's judging. Uh, let's see. Let we read first Corinthians six and nine. He's judging uh, uh, adulterers. You sleeping with somebody else's wife or sleeping with somebody else's husband. He's judging all of that. He's not just judging the homosexuals. And and I, and, and, and for people to come out and say, 
that uh, this is this is you know that they deserve this. They deserve this type of behavior. They deserve what they got. That is that's that's just unnatural of God because that that is not that is not the way of God. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. At us as believers, us as that name the name of the Lord. We have to, we have to, we we are in the world. We have been delivered from certain things, delivered from homosexuality, been delivered from drugs, delivered from, from fornication, been delivered from adultery, whatever we've been delivered from, because we're all ex somethings, regardless of what people want to tell you, regardless of what people want to show a perfect persona in front of somebody. We are all ex somethings. We're ex whatever, whatever it may be, we are exes. And if we get to a place where we are not where we are, where we judging people based on, uh, based on, uh, their lifestyle and you not judging yourself based on what you used to be in or based on what you do or what you're in now, you need to check your heart. It's a heart issue. It's a heart issue. When the first thing you say, if, if, if the first thing you saw when you woke up uh, Saturday morning and saw on the news that it was a mass shooting at a gay club, and the first thing you say out of your mouth or in your heart, in your mind was they deserved it because God judges gay people, then something's wrong with your heart. Because if you if you if you are a prayer warrior, if you are a minister, if you anybody, if you anybody in the kingdom, um, you and it just being saved and sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, the first response should have been prayer. That should have been your first response. Why is our first response to judge? Why is our first response to say God did that? God, how do you know? How do you know that that was a, the, that was the plan of God for those people? Because because the, you know we don't know if any if, if anybody ever got if anybody ever uh, came to them and if uh, if, if um came to them and spoke Christ to them. Uh, we don't, we don't know how their lives, what was it? What about their lives went down? We don't know that, but our first response needs to be prayer. Our first response needs to be compassion. We don't condone it. No, we don't like what they do, but then do we, we I don't like, I don't like fornicators. I was a fornicator. I was, I was, a, I was, I, I, I was a, 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 a idolater. I was a, you know, I didn't murder nobody. Well, I had an abortion, so you can consider that murder. So you, you, you have to look at your own life first, judge your own life, and then we can judge people based on the word because it would have, you would have more compassion if you were more humble. Don't just go off on a tangent about people and about the things that happened in Orlando and you not checking your own self and checking your own family and checking what's going on in your, in, in, in the lives of in the, in the people around you you don't be that person don't be the that christian don't be that christian because we don't need that in the body we need unity we need uh the the, the uh uh Excuse me. We need unity in the body. We need more, uh, uh, more love in the body. And yes, we know God is love, but then people try to try to uh, maneuver and take that and, and say that God is not an angry guy. Yes, God, we know God gets angry. We know God. We know he's a he's a man of war. We know that, uh, uh, you know, and this is all according to the word of God that. Um, that, uh, 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 you know, that, that you can't serve two masters. We know that you can't, there's a lot of things that are going on in, uh, in, in the world that are taking place that we need, uh, we need compassion for the people because without compassion, we're not going to be able to compel them without love. We're not going to be able to compel them to come out of darkness. It is, they're in a dark place right now. They're in a place where they're, where it, 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 the, the Bible said, uh, um, um, I can't remember particularly where, but it was, it said uh, about Jesus, it was talking about Jesus Christ didn't talk about Noah and it says so it so it uh, as in the days of Noah so it will be in the in the uh, with the sun with the coming of the son of man. Um, and it, it, it uh, um, and it talks that was it was talking about how they were partying and and drinking and 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 having orgies and sex parties and all of these kind of things were taking place when Noah was building the ark and Noah was telling them it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. But they were it, it, it so it's the same thing, it's the same concept and the same thing that is going on today. That we are in a place where it, the the coming of the son of man is it, it's it's where it's it, it, it's upon us. It probably is not as close as we believe, but it's upon us and the people are still doing the same things. It's the old, it's the, it's, it's the same uh, scenario as what was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. People partying, people not worried about God, people not. But if we are car carrying believers of the, of the Lord, we are car carrying believers of Christ, of his word of deliverance and healing and casting out demons and dealing with the, dealing with the sick and dealing with things that then we have the, uh, we have, we had, this is an opportunity to minister. This is an opportunity because I was watching a uh, good morning America. America, uh, just this morning and the young man um, uh, was helping uh, uh, helping uh, he was in the gay club and uh, obviously he was uh, he was homosexual and he uh, 
was telling them how he uh, was riding. Uh, they, he was helping this one guy who had gotten shot, and he rode in the, in the ambulance with him and was talking, talking about him, talk, talking to him, telling them because they was like the, the uh, EMTs was telling them, you know, talk to him, keep him alert, and he was asking them who he was, what's uh, talking about his family. He learned all about this man in less than less than uh, uh, you know less than five minutes. Learned all about him. Now I don't I don't know if he said the guy died. I don't know what happened, but the one thing that he said was, you know, I don't know if you know God, but you know, we gonna say a little prayer and it does, you know, and I know that, uh, you know, people may say, well, you know, I, cause I know according to John nine 31 for God here is no sinner. Um, that that's the, but but it, it it touched me and it moved me that that his first response was you know what let's let's say a prayer that that moved me to tears because I was just like it's a it's a shame that that the that the that the kingdom of God and the in the church and the believers of God don't have the same mentality we don't have the same mentality as as the world we don't have the same mentality his even though in his in his mind he's 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 still in sin but his first mind was you know what I don't know if you know God but let's say a prayer let's say a prayer and so we have to we have to we that has to be our first response people we have to have that as a first response say a prayer go in prayer for these people because these people are souls they're souls they're no different they just choose they just they just chose a different path they chose to give over to the desires of their flesh but what what if you're not if you save right now when at what point were you giving over to the desires of your flesh don't give a don't with it in Galatians 5 16. That's my favorite scripture. Walk in the spirit so that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. But if we don't, if we if, if our first if your first response was to was to bash, if your first response was to say something negative or derogatory, check your heart. Check your heart. Because if you're if you weren't in a place of prayer and a and a compassion hit you because souls went to hell, then something's wrong with your heart. Something is wrong with your heart. First, first. Corinthians 6 and 9 is where I've been. Know ye, need, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Because it's a spirit of deception. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, homosexuals, abusers of themselves with mankind. Which means lying with women, lying with women, men lying with men. Thieves, covetous, drunkards, revelers. Extortioners, so thieves, all of these people shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So it's not just homosexuals, people. It's not just homosexuals. Let's stop bashing them. Let's let's win them to the Lord. Let's bring them out of darkness into the marvelous light of God. Let's be the let's be the light that that that, that that's not hid under a bushel. Let's be that let's be the, the salt to the earth. Because God will give you the just because I've been delivered from homosexuality, but 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 Let's but but I'm 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 not the only one called to help deliver the homosexual community because there are people that are sitting on their testimony. There are people who won't tell that God delivered them from homosexuality or even the desires to to to, to sleep with another man or sleep with another woman. That you know people are not people just not telling you. That's what it is. People just not telling you. So my my encouragement is to pray. Uh 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 Second uh, Chronicles seven fourteen. Pray. Pray if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Humble yourself. Humble yourself and pray for these people. Pray for pray for the homosexual. Pray for the idolater. Pray for the fornicator. Pray because we have to we we the, the prayers need to saturate the earth. The, the, the prayers of the righteous have to saturate the earth because the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avail and our prayers will avail. But if you are praying from a, if you are not praying from a place of a pure heart, then your prayers are not availing. They're not availing. So we need to pray. We need to pray and we need to pray for these people. And we need to pray for, for the, for the, for those that have been affected because this thing didn't just, just affect the club full of people. This affected families, children, uh, uh, mothers, fathers, this affected everybody. This affect, this affected their families. So now the families are grieving and, 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 and we don't, we don't need to be bashing. We don't need to, we need to, we need to pray that, 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 that they would know how to grieve and that anger would not sit up in them and, and that, uh, uh, you know, bitterness would not come because of this. We need to, we, and we, uh, we need to be led by the Lord, not to pray out of anger, not to pray out of our flesh, not to pray, but to pray, but to pray the word and the will of God for their lives, for them to come out of the darkness, for them to come out of homosexuality, to be delivered because you can be delivered because you know why? Because God delivered 
delivered me and God delivered a bunch of people. God did. It was a, a minister uh, that, that, that goes to our church yesterday. She's been delivered from homosexuality for uh, for uh, uh, 16 years, she said. So we probably around the same time frame, uh, you know, where we've been out out of that lifestyle because you can be delivered. Don't let anybody tell you, you can't be delivered. You can be delivered from homosexuality. You can be delivered from the desires of your flesh because you you just got to you got to switch and you renew your mind. The Bible says you have to renew your mind and how you do things and how uh, how things uh, look to you, um, you know, because the enemy will bring deception and cover your eyes. And so you think the world is one way. You think God is one way. Yes, God loves you, but God hates your sin and God and, and you will end up in hell if you don't repent and move away, change, turn from from wicked ways. That's wicked wickedness unto God. It's an abomination unto him, but he loves you. He loves you in spite of you. He loves you in spite of the choice you made. He said, I, he said, I set before you life and death. Hallelujah. Blessing and the curse. He said, choose life. Life comes in him. Life is just now you choose life and then you go do what you want to do. You go party, you go drinking, you go sleep around. That's not the life he's talking about. It's his life, the abundant life, life in Christ, life uh, uh, free from free from sin, not trying to live perpetually in sin. Hallelujah. Yeah, I am. But thank you for, for saying that. God bless you. Um, and so we have to live, uh, we have to live in a, in a place where we're, where we're, there's a, there's no perpetual sin on the inside of us where we're not practicing sin. We're not practicing doing the things, uh, that the world wants because we are in the world, but we're not of the world. But if you are of the world, you need to come out of the world so that you can, so that you can be in the kingdom. It is, it's kingdom. Okay. Well, okay. God bless. And you know, I normally I normally don't block people, but you know, I'm gonna block you. Um, uh, but uh, God, uh, God, God loves God loves everybody. God loves He loves everybody, but He hates our sin. Plain and simple, He hates our sin. He hates our sin, and so we have to be in a place where we are truly, truly, truly um, um, giving ourselves over to giving ourselves over to God and not over to the flesh. You can't give yourself over to the flesh. So let me pray real quick, Father God. I just bless and praise you right now, Lord God, that you are moving according to your plan and your purpose, Father God, in this life, Father God, and that you're raising up, Lord God, uh, uh, people. You're raising up, Lord, uh, the delivered, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, those that have been delivered from homosexuality, Lord God, good, have been brought out, Father God, hallelujah, of that lifestyle, Father God, and they are free, have been free, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and Lord God, you are using them, Lord God, as mouthpieces in this day. You're using them, Lord God, according to your word and will. Father God, that you are raising them up for such a time as this, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And now is the time, Father God, for you, Lord God, to be glorified, Father God. Now is the time, Father God, for you to be lifted up, that you're going to draw all men, Father God. And I'm praying for those, Father God, hallelujah, the, 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 those that name your name, Father God, those, Lord God, that have compassion, Father God, those, Lord God, that, that, that pray for the souls to be saved, Lord God, to be healed and to be delivered, Father God, to come to the forefront, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, so that, Lord God, Hallelujah. They can experience you on a different level. They can experience your word. They can experience your will. They can experience, Father God, the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. I pray for each and every person, Father God, that in Orlando, Lord God, that were in that nightclub, Father God. Hallelujah. Those, Lord God, that lost their lives. I pray for their families, Lord God, that are grieving, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And I decree and declare, Father God, healing to come, Father God, deliverance to come, Father God. Hallelujah. That bitterness and anger will not set in their hearts in the name of Jesus, Lord God. But Lord God, that you would do a work, Father God, in them like never before, Father God. You would cause, Lord God, your face to shine upon them, Father God. You would cause, Lord God, peep the Lord God, the church and the kingdom, Lord God, to even go to Orlando, Father God, as missionaries, Father God. Hallelujah. And spread the love of God. Spread the spread the word and the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Those, Father God, that that can uh, 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 give the word of the Lord, Father God, and speak to their purpose and speak to their destiny, Father God, to bring them out of a place of bondage, Father God, to bring them out of a place of deception, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, I decree you have your way, Lord God, hallelujah, in the LGBT community, Father God, that deliverance will come, healing will come, Father God, hallelujah, Lord God, to them in the name of Jesus, that, that Lord God, hallelujah, the spiritual awakening will come, Father God, not a pseudo, uh, uh, a pseudo relationship with you, Father God, 
in the name of Jesus, Lord God, but truly, Father God, hallelujah, Lord, a, a true relationship, Lord God, true healing, Lord God, total wholeness, Father God, will come to them in the name of Jesus, Father God, because your word says you wish that none would perish. You wish that none would perish. So, Lord God, I decree and declare, Father God, hallelujah, Lord, that none would perish, Lord God, because of this, Lord, because of this, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I come against even suicides, Father God, that will take place, Father God, hallelujah, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that the, the depression, Father God, the despair, Father God, hallelujah, Lord God, the anger, Lord God, hallelujah, the heaviness, Lord God, that is upon, Father God, that community in the name of Jesus will not lose any more lives, Father God, but Lord God, we will see revival, Lord God, in the LGBT, Father God, we will see revival, Lord God, break out and take place, Lord God, in that community in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and they will begin to run to the house of God, they will begin to run to your presence, Lord God, run, Lord God, hallelujah, into you in the name of Jesus, because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe in the name of Jesus. So Father God, I decree and declare healing. I decree and declare deliverance. Father God, I decree and declare that you close the mouths, Father God, of the of the of the of the judges, Lord God. You close close the mouths, Father God. Hallelujah of the naysayers. You close the mouths, Father God. Hallelujah of the bashers, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And let there let there be a heart, Father God, a, a, a trans a, a, a transplant, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because you said you would take away the stony heart, Father God, and you will give a new heart of flesh, Father God. So I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, for the new heart of flesh, Lord God, coming into your people, coming into your kingdom, Lord God, coming into those, Father God, that say they are followers of you, Lord God. Let no hate, Father God, be in them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let no hate, Father God, hallelujah, come out of their mouths, Father God, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So, Lord God, let the heart be, be, be pure, Father God, because blessed are the pure in heart, Father God for they shall see God. So Lord God, I bless you, Lord God. I praise you, Father God, that you're doing a work, Father God, in the midst of your people, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I bless you all for getting on. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, Y'all, you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Thank you. You too, Miss Sharon. I got your stuff. I promise you it's, it's coming in the mail this week. I promise you.